We now return to Conan Exiles. That's pretty haunting. Journey along the beach here. like a little... I guess the land just goes down in there. Okay. Oh, you're gonna be an issue, aren't you? Oh, hello. Hit you before you get me. Should have been going up the whole time. God damn it. <laughs> the rhino is certainly enthusiastic about it. So, good place for potentially finding some armor. All right, this is uh, hello. Grab something, please. Jesus. Just hanging on by the sinews of his arms. He had nothing I wanted anyway. Doubtful there's anything up there. Okay, well. I have grave. Bonnier fur boots. Mild disappointment. Okay. Now these guys aren't so tough. Dancer coming my way, looks like? Nope. to that guy. Ooh, it's hardened steel.
Are you guys gonna fucking? There you go. You will never return. Who are you? Oh boy. Oh boy, we got some issues. That looks like an Asura character. Rebel Jin. Mini boss completed. Okay. Uh, take that. Take hardened steel. I got plenty of those. Jin. Oh boy. Uh, bag of essences. Sure. That. That. Uh, that. Jin's adds. Uh. Aids, however, I think it's an ads. How the fuck did we get up there? Ah, oh, whatever, we'll just climb. I think we gotta climb anyway. Pretty, pretty sneaky to put these archers all the way up here. They are difficult to get to. <laughs> State! <laughs> State! Helmet, cool. Uh, iron bowl. I mean, while we're up here, uh, energy, take that, take that, take that. shoot out here. We're at least collecting some armor, but it doesn't necessarily look like it's the good armor. Uh, I don't need that. Uh, it kind of looks like it is the lesser tier armor. Still very likely better than the basic heavy armor that I'm able to make right now. Insane how we go from, like, aggroing an entire camp because one guy saw me out of the corner of his eye, just at the very, very edge of camp, to... Huh, I wonder what all that noise is. Ooh, black axe th throwing axes. Black ice throwing axes. Well, I've never really used throwing axes. They are ranged weapons that uh, don't require a bow. We are very close. I'm tempted to just continue down here and go to that place. What else is up here? It looks like there's something there along that ridge line. We can also visit this. Visit a shrine. First time. shelving. Okay. Now, what does this do? You know, I don't actually believe I've ever figured out what that does. This seems very familiar to me. 
And I don't think... I don't think I was ever able to figure that one out. What are you doing? does because it uh, any any other time that there's been one something has popped up because of it or it's opened a gate but there's nothing like that around it unless there's like a very hidden thing under the cliff back here which I don't think there is Maybe. I don't know. Alright, let's go take a look at whatever it looked like was up here. Um, it's going to take me down below. So if I want to continue, we're actually going to have to climb. Is there something on top of that? There is. I wonder if this is what the, the lever pulled. place for a rhino. We are going to have to do a little bit of scaling before we get up here. Ah, look where we are. All right, this is one of the intact ones. So there are six of these shrines, and they're responsible for doing funny stuff with the the um, tower and uh, the portal and the storm and all that shit. Um, that looks like that looks like a special one. Um, only three of them work. Okay. That is, uh... Man, everything just feels so broken and unbalanced. Like, some of the one-shots... ...and not that... One, one skulls, I mean. Not all that tough. And then... You get, like, bitten by a wolf, and even though I'm wearing probably the strongest armor that I can get at this point in the game, until I get some of the special stuff, like, it <laughs> just eats through me. Wolf head, uh, it's not really, not really anything I absolutely need. So, uh, that's better, okay. Samaria of 84? Okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. But these two are good, and they'll be good replacements, except that, uh... I, I do have patches for them, for now. We are running dangerously low on the boots, though. 
Anyway, yeah, so what I was saying about these shrines, uh, three of them are intact and actually function. This one is the Lay Shrine of the Serpent. Do not have the necessary materials here. I think I have any materials for this stuff or just yet. Let me read. Shock trap activated. Nothing's here. So, come up here. These are my notes on the working building bench, right? On the working of the Lay Shrine, translated by Sipta, with his notes in the Year of the, Lemi of the Lemur. This is the Lay, Lay Shrine of the Serpent. Translation note seems to be referring one or several of the Elder Races. The gods have given us means to summon bounty. Translation note could also mean sacrifice. Raw chaos and containment. Translation note fragment missing. There's a diagram of some container here. Maelstrom will power the surge. Translation note multiple words could fit here. Surge is my choice. A Yugoth stone will be... Translation note, Yugoth is mentioned in the Book of Skelos. Most cross-reference. From what I can tell, each of the Lay Shrines is tied to a different type of summon. Possibly a preference of the different Elder Races and resources. Experimentation will be required. Yeah. So, here is where we can make... Using only hardened steel, really. I do have some. Flex a Surge from the Aether. So I believe we can just do this now to summon a surge. And uh you, you have these items around here. God damn it. Okay, so like this. If we repair this, uh, we need Eldarium which I do have back at the main base. This creates uh, shutters. Um, there's those traps out there. If you can get thralls in them, you can use that lever and uh, it'll capture the, the thralls that are on the platform. Um, I think there's another thing somewhere for a base defense. But basically, uh, this was the original idea for how you would get thralls. You summon, well, okay, so that storm initially would already be a portal. It would already open. And then the tentacles of a Yog Sathoth looking creature would stick out and it would strike lightning on the ground and where it struck would open portals to summon your uh, thrall, potential thralls. Um, and then these used to have, I think, only like the, the demons and uh, other stuff of the storm. So it was a different type. Now that's not how this works anymore. Now, summoning a surge will, as it said, summon a different type of entity, um, depending on what it is. I, I guess we can do it. I've got a couple bars in here, so why not? <laughs> Let's do uh, the center. Surge. All right. Oh, they're falling. Oh, and we're being attacked. <laughs> they're all in here now. Where'd that hyena go? Let's 
So, um, you'll notice that there were a bunch sitting out there. were falling at the same time. Okay. So, if we can get to that lever... Not enough Eldarium. Okay. Now, never mind. I think, also, um, let's see, where's that guy? I'll take that, I can make silk. Um, I think also, like these, you can ignite, and, uh, they will light up and basically be, like, aggro points, it'll, it'll pull them to that location. So basically, until this thing is done, I think they'll just keep spawning. But uh, yeah, as you can imagine, this being the only way to effectively get uh, trolls, major, major pain in the ass. So that's why they changed it. So now there are actual camps and ooh, studded iron mace. Is is this just flames coming through? It must be. Set the glory in your death. You'll notice there's a little bit of a lack of unique thralls here that uh, have different names. Boring is what it is. Falling, it sounds like. Soon my teeth will. Get out of the way. For armor, okay. Um, 
flesh of remembrance. Uh, right. Learn new recipe. I must have. I think that's the stuff to remember uh, how to make Jebel Sog, the the temple and or altar. Where the hell? So I don't know how long I've got this going. Ten minutes, maybe. I actually couldn't tell you how long. Desert Banner, okay. See, now I gotta, now I gotta pick them. Make sure I'm getting them all because <laughs> they do have stuff. Ah, uh, God, how long does this thing go? something, for fuck's sake. Alright, this is going on a little too long. Look at this, though. Silk now. Incoming. You will never return to your death. At this point, I don't even know. I, if, they're, if they're just eggs for those shoe bills, I only need the one. I can't even tell what's a new body and what isn't anymore. Hey, wait a minute. I need some fur. I just remembered. I didn't know where to get that before. Probably going to need more than is able to be provided to me now, too. Thick leather. <sighs> Let me 
me see here. Maelstrom. Maelstrom cooldown. Accumulation time. Duration. I'm assuming this means ten minutes. This is not Maelstrom, though. Let's, uh, let's lower this. Let's lower this to, like, five. I think that is, like, the actual swirling Maelstrom. I don't think it's Surge's. Surge cost, despawner timer. Oh my god. 30 minutes? Let's lower that down to, like, ten. They shine defense, active time multiplier. Okay. Well, the chances are good that uh, that's not going to take into effect right away. So, we're going to have the initial... You will never return to your den. The initial time of... Uh, Half an hour is probably going to still be here. So, I say we just take off. Let's head maybe that direction. So now we do need to kind of go this way, right? It's the wrong side. This way. Follow the path and get the hell out of here. That'll despawn eventually. We don't have to protect these or anything. They're not going to destroy them. Sake, now what? Soon my teeth will taste your throat. Okay, this may not be anything after all. No, it looks like it's implying that it's a quarry. And there we can see a vault. Yeah. All right. So I wonder then, it, we must have to be inside the maelstrom when it's swirling for the base to be attacked by the siege things. But I also think... I also think that there was a thing that when you use one of those shrines whilst the maelstrom is going, that that's what brings the, the monsters. So you, you pull a surge, but the surge brings the elder things instead of people from all over the world in the exiled lands. So let's end the episode by traveling to the island. I know that's kind of... kind of backwards from where we're going, and you know what, I didn't... I put all of the teleportation stuff back in storage because I thought I was just going to loop around and we'd stay here for a while, but now... Since we're going all the way out here... nice to have brought that. And ironically, all that stuff that was dropping up there probably would have eventually dropped things that I could have used. Silver and, uh, and, uh, what else? What, what is actually required here? Sorcery. Silver, bricks, alchemical base. I know silver and alchemical base was up there. Brick? Brick would be fairly easy to come by. For me. Alright. Ah, fuck it. <laughs> I'm just gonna cheat. We'll pretend we went up there and gathered the resources.
thing would be also having blood and uh, sulfur, brimstone, whatever, uh, to activate the portal. But putting one closer to here, where I would in future put a base. Seems like that would be a good idea. Why am I doing this on foot? Never gonna get any experience if I don't ride you. Although it kind of seems like it's capped out, like we haven't been getting any experience whatsoever. Master Tamer. Out of here with a bargain or a frown. Oh, Your look. Choice. We could get a camel. You need something, exile? With all the useless gold coins I keep leaving around. Hey. Learned how to relax. Camp of the Castaways. You're just an archer. Yeah, sure, we'll go the long way. A good day for a good trade. Links, okay. What'll it be? Feathers. <laughs> Ten feathers for a silver coin. Like, honestly, not not just the broke, but the broke in. Like, why on earth would you do this? You could seriously just go over to the cliffs, kill a bird, and probably get more feathers off of it. You need something, Exile. You can walk out of here with a bargain. Or a frown. Your what choice. will it be? No okay. refunds. Oops. I don't need you to do that. 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 God damn you. Don't do that. Where the fuck is everybody?
next. All right, let's try this again and not make enemies of everyone in there. Fuck. God, I fucking hate that. You go to use the interact button and it's like, oh, you meant to get your followers to do something, right? side this time. Go over here. You can walk out of here with a bargain. An egg. Your choice. Valeria. Well, well. Look what the tide washed up. Cursed bastard! That goat raping son of a whore! I'll cut off his balls and crush them in front of him! What do you want? I'm busy figuring out how to get my revenge on that pig. That shit was almost finished, and then those dark hearted bastards swept in and set it all aflame! It was the black corsairs who burned our ship, and they didn't even seem to have a reason for it. Could have just as easily have been the Stygians. Gods, but I hate this island. The Stygians and the Black Corsairs. Take your pick. They're both bilge-swilling scum. The Stygian leader is one of those royal byblows with something to prove. Crax is the bastard, they call him. And the bastard he is. He's here to claim the Isle for Stygia and tax the trade routes to the Black Kingdoms. That means he has a fleet patrolling the Straits, stirring up troubles with the local lads. And so, Nkosi the Ashen, leader of the Black Corsairs. They say his father is a devil from the Outer Dark. How else does one explain an ivory-skinned, red-eyed babe born to a woman of a dark-skinned tribe? I've seen him myself, feasting on the dead after a skirmish, blood running down his face. Just my luck to be stuck on an island between the two of them. You've been exploring the Isles, so you've probably also seen those... others, as well. My men have taken to calling them the Accursed. They are... wrong. Their shadows don't step where they step. Their eyes... I've seen them out there in the storm, walking like the wind doesn't touch them. Where did they come from, these men and women? Do they come from the storm? Are they part of it? I don't really want to think about it. Sorcery makes my skin crawl. Ugh, that God's curse! You still alive? What news of the Isle? Alright, so all those scout reports we gather... She'll pay Sharp twenty-five blades gold and strong for it. winds, friend. Of course, they're all back at camp. Now, I heard a cat. A cat that we can turn into uh, a special cat. Ale? You can walk out of here with a bargain or a frown. 
Your choice. You can walk out of here with a bar game. Mystery for a meat round. soup. Your choice. I think neither. No recipes. What can I get you? Save travel. And the, the aggravating thing is that they all take silver and she pays gold. You buying? What'll it be? Costigan's note. By Jerusha, I'm sick of this place. Mike and I swaggered across the island. We found this outdoor water hole. Hey, so Costigan... Costigan was that guy that we found way up here. This surge is still going on, too, by the look of it on the map. Losing corruption, hey. Works for me, too. got to be a freaking cat around here. I heard it. Merchant. You can walk out of here with a bargain or a frown. Your choice. Yeah, I just, I absolutely hate how they've got the merchants. I complained about this last time too, but they're just so worthless. They don't make any sense. I'm pretty sure that at least the voices... Uh, are based upon uh, actual employees. Funcom employees do the voices for all of them. And as far as the names go, I don't know. I don't know if they're like backer names or if they are just like the personas of the, the people who work there. So like everyone got a merchant in the game, like yippee, whoop de doo but they don't do anything. Are you fucking kidding me? Get stuck in the rhino? just it's really irritating the game the game just has so many little details that you know anyone anyone who's played it long enough could tell you how to fix it how to make it better they just don't do it they just don't make that little bit of effort it seems like the only people in the community they care about are the people who play on the online servers. And the PvP servers. Which, I mean, I, I guess I understand the initial design theory there, because this is the same people, at least it was initially, that did the uh, Age of Conan MMO. And so, they were very online focused and, and oriented when they made the game and, you know, they clearly took inspiration from Rust. So they probably thought there was going to be much more focus on that. Oh, hey. Oh, she wears a man's clothes, but she's a woman's figure and the way she walks is le in leathers. Well, it makes my sword grow bigger. I'd love to touch her up. Uh, Valeria got... Okay. So the, this is a, a love song. Love Diddy, and she killed him. And stuff. I don't know, is there anything... I mean, it's a shipwreck. There's a silver bar. Crates. Oh boy. Valeria is one of the other characters that you can make a statue of. Wow. 
This is just a bunch of garbage out here. to get up on this cliffside and use that little bridge that goes over there. I don't think there's anything special other than just being able to say you did it. Rock nose. No ghosts, no nothing special. Oh boy, is this deep enough to take a leap? Well, <laughs> my rhino's about to find out. Alright, let's figure out where this damn cat is. Stray cat. Jesus. From that map that I saw, it implied oh, well they're, now they're all over the place. Two stray cats. They were just really dark. So. Magi cat, magi cat, magi cat, just of the types. There's three types. I guess I can try and find another one. I was led to believe there's going to be cats all over the damn place. And this isn't supposed to be the only place you can get them, either. They are actually on the map. All this other stuff that I got. Bag of Essence, a container that when used confers a random number of essences. Blasphemous origins and ghost hunted vaults of Stygia. Sure, let's find out what it does. Just a bunch of the lessers. Okay. What else did I have? Studded iron. Jill's adds 54. Okay. Jin. Jin's add. Strange implement, embellished with profane symbols of the outer dark, appears more decorative than functional. Exactly, this heavy and unwieldy tool came into the hands of the accursed. No. What other fun stuff did I get? Uh, those... I think that was it. Oh, failed source... Right, 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 there was... Banners and hyena fur. Pick that up. Spoil gruel. Okay. So then I also grabbed some knowledge here. Is there a leg hold trap? When did I pick that up? Um, delving bench. Okay, that's a thing. Right. Elder constructions. So here we can make the barricade controls, shutter controls, convergence traps. That's a thing. So, like, if we do build a, uh, a base, if I put the convergence trap out there, that's where I can have this to make them either repel 
in areas or funnel them to certain areas. Surge Harvester. Decayed Eldarium to pluck thralls from the chaos. Okay, that's those triangles. Yeah, the Delving Bench. Now this is the stuff that I can use the Eldarium for. But I think it is specifically geared towards making this work. Um, Island Hunter. This was a thing I unlocked. Turtle Trophy. Bastard's Banner? Not sure where we pick that up. Scorpion Queen Venom Ruiner. We can build ruins now. Word of Power right. I should really think about getting the, the Maul, or at least the Bow. That was a pretty powerful one. In fact, this armor, I think the Abyssal Armor, last time proved to be the strongest armor. So long as I kept killing to, to maintain it. it. Might be worth heading back to the main base for a little bit to try. Build stuff. Strong glass roofer, okay. Yeah, the Ophidian set. Alright. Well. What do I have points for now? 67 points? Star Metal Axe. What don't I have yet? Throne. Okay, we'll grab that to make thrones. Why not? I could open up all the epics, I suppose. Because it looks like it's just a bunch of weapons, really. Weapons and the trophy stuff. Mr. Hatchmaker, we'll get that. Really need the fireplace. Guess I can get the better healing items. There's the Nordheimer set. Get all the armor unlocks, I suppose. Asheronian stuff. See, is this even any good? 43 there, 37 shield. It's not really that great. Star Metal Short Sword. It's an epic sword, too. that so I can maybe someday unlock horses. Yeah, I don't know. There doesn't look to be a whole lot there. So what next? Grit. Not take more than 25%. You can block unblockable attacks. Button for punishment. You take damage, you regenerate the last instance of damage taken. That's fun. Let's Let's open that up. Alright. Challenges. Got that for no reason. I should just leave them. Uh, and then we're all good to go here, right? I have traversed this forsaken land seeking artifacts with power. Oh, okay. It started me over at the beginning. Because then we got all the way. Tothamon. Right. Okay, so this changed. So, here we go, the Headhunter set. But see, like, that's more than the Battle Pass itself costs. That is insane. Apothecary is more... Like, all this stuff looks really cool, but, like, you can, you can get very similar stuff off of the mods. Median Guard Dogs... See, this is the, the downside. Like, I would have rather, actually, they just did more DLC packs. You know? Get all, all the content in the bazaar in one DLC. Get all the seasons in another. That is insane. What, what does that actually come to? So, probably about $15 for this, for the armor set, the weapon, a cage, and two little hanging things. That's just... Oh well. Oh well. Like I said, I'm sure at some point, a year or two from now, when this is done and over with, 
they will probably do that. You will probably be able to buy this stuff. I mean, this stuff isn't a theme for crying out loud. You'll probably be able to get that. They'll probably release an emote pack. They'll do a whole bunch of stuff, I'm sure. If, I mean, if Monster Hunter can release just $500 worth of DLC content and people buy it, I'm sure they will have no problem whatsoever doing that too. It appears that my meat... Hmm, I thought I had a spicy meat thing in here. Alright, well anyway. Just eat that then. Okay, well... We are way out of range right now from what I wanted to do. We need to come back and conquer this thing. So I guess I'll probably head back here for a little bit. Get the cat. Maybe we'll work on that summoning circle and uh, get the demon armor. Head back, reconnoiter at this base, and then we'll go travel this way and see what this is all about. Because I had wanted to go up on this too on the way back, and we just kind of didn't do that. But whatever. It will work, and that looks like a vault right there, in fact. Okay. Maybe I should just poke my head in just to activate them on the map so I know. Whatever. Anyway, got a couple cats to go make, so I'll end this one here. I'll see you next time.